Jerusalem, the ancient city where Jesus Christ once suffered the death penalty for us upon the cross. The very stones still bear silent witness to his painful walk beneath the cross to Calvary. Out of love for you, God delivered up his son unto death, so that you no longer have to stand beneath his judgment, but rather be received as a pardoned child of the Father. Come to him. Jesus rose again from the dead. He is alive today and is waiting for us to turn to him in faith. Jesus Christ can set us free from sin and guilt. Our fate depends upon whether we let him free us in this life. Goodbye and God bless you. Easter, the time when we remember the victory of Jesus Christ over sin and death. But you may say, Easter has made no difference to my life. I'm so bound by my bad habits and ways. I have so many problems and difficulties. Here by the Sea of Galilee, just after the very first Easter, the disciples of Jesus may have felt the same. That is, until the risen Lord Jesus himself came and met with them here. Did you know that he wants to come to you too this Easter? Jesus has come to set you free, to loosen your chains, to solve your problems and difficulties. Put your trust in him. God bless you. Here on the Via Dolorosa in Jerusalem, Jesus bore his cross to Calvary. Perhaps you too have a cross to bear. But don't forget that Calvary was not the end of the road for Jesus. Like the rising sun, he rose from the grave on that first Easter morning as victor over sin and death. And he can help you be victorious in suffering. You have a friend in Jesus Christ. Like a sun that never sets, he lights up every darkness. So let Jesus, a source of joy, shine into your heart. The rising sun will come to us from heaven to shine on those living in darkness and in the shadow of death. Goodbye and God bless you. On Easter morning, Jesus appeared first of all to Mary Magdalene. But who was she? born nearly 2,000 years ago here on the shores of Galilee in the little town of Magdala. She led a life of sin. Then Jesus, our Lord and Savior, came into her life. After experiencing his forgiveness, she became an ardent disciple of his, and a new life began for her. So no matter how great our sin may be, let us remember. One power is greater than the power of sin and suffering. And that is the power of Jesus the victor. Believe in his victory, and you will be helped. Our risen Lord says, All power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. Goodbye, and God bless you. The Emmaus Road in the Holy Land, the two of Jesus' disciples were walking home despondently. They had seen their Lord die on the cross, and at his tomb they had buried all their hopes. But someone joins them. He gently admonishes them for their lack of faith. Their hearts burn within them at the words of this stranger. And then the thrilling moment dawns when they realize that their Lord had been walking with them. He had risen from the grave. So in dark hours, remember. Someone is with you. You are not alone. Someone understands you in your fear and pain. 
It is Jesus, eternal love. Goodbye and God bless you. Easter in the Holy Land. Everything bursts into life, symbolic of Jesus' resurrection. This is what Easter is all about. Life out of death. Joy out of suffering. Suffering lasts only a while. But the glory that comes from path of suffering lasts for all eternity. Yes, suffering shall be turned into joy, for God in his love will never let suffering be the end. So accept your suffering willingly, and you too will experience life out of death. Ancient steps in the city of Jerusalem. It is said that 2,000 years ago, Jesus trod them as he was led off to be tried and then sentenced to death. What immeasurable suffering Jesus endured, and all for your sake and mine. And so we can never doubt that he loves us. Yes, Jesus loves us. Goodbye and God bless you. Gethsemane in the Holy Land. These ancient olive trees are said to have witnessed Jesus' battle in prayer against the powers of darkness and his victory. In obedience to his Father's will, Jesus then gave his life for us and rose again as victor. As a mighty victor, he has a power to deliver you from all your sins. Goodbye and God bless you.